Steve, I feel really honoured that we've got anything to do with this. This is fabulous. But our name, I don't think we've ever had our name on a thing like that. It's so exciting. This is the Battle Bus. This is the Carbon Battle Bus. The Carbon Battle Bus. The Carbon bus. Battle Bus, yeah. <laughs> and we're uh, taking this beautiful, fully electric bus around the UK on a zero carbon tour. So this is absolutely amazing around the city, around London. It's just absolute silence and no gears because often when you're driving around London traffic, the gears can be quite jerky. And everything is the same as a normal executive coach. So 51 seats, uh, luggage space, everything's the same. So it's, it's the same as any of our other executive coaches. So we've got capacity to charge up to 20 of these. We've got three of them already. Um, we've got another one on the way. And uh, yeah, hopefully the infrastructure is just going to get better and better. I think even now you can do it, definitely. Explain to me what Planet Mark is, because sometimes, you know, when you people first hear it, they go, what does that mean? Yeah, sure. So, um, well, we're hoping that when people see the Planet Mark, they know that wherever they see that, those names and the logo, that they see something good is taking place here for society and the right. planet. Um, but what we do is uh, we help people have great fun um, <laughs> with sustainability, helping right. organisations and communities and towns reduce carbon yeah and hopefully go to zero carbon but engage people in the process because so many of us know that we want to work together to tackle the climate crisis and many many other social issues so what you know the, what the tour is here to do is to explain um uh, what zero carbon means yeah and that is a, you know it's a complex thing but basically it's about radically reducing carbon so we cut our carbon emissions by 50 percent by 2030 and then on the end beyond there um, it's about working together to tackle the climate crisis. Um, so we need to bring people together to have conversations about what we can do and we can make different decisions and about, you know, going fully electric with your coaches and buses. You could be choosing to use electric vehicles to buy. Um, you could be choosing to walk or, or commute in different ways. Yeah. For organisations that we're talking to, though, it's really important that they know that reducing carbon helps them be more competitive. It saves money. Um, it reduces energy and consumption, reduces waste and plastic. And these are all things which can then bring everyone together to a cleaner, cleaner greener, safer planet. Yeah. And it's, so it's not just about what the fuel you put in your vehicles. It's also about the way we do food pack. So you would be dealing with things like food packaging and I mean, all that stuff. No, we need almost like two bins now, don't yeah. we? And when my mum and dad were growing up, we, you know, we didn't have all of this plastic, so we have to then recycle everything. Yeah. So it's probably an opportunity for everyone to think again about how we live and how yeah. we can actually create a better better future for us all and a you know, better way of living. Um, and this sort of zero carbon message is really, really important to get across as part of that narrative. Right. And so if a company, for instance, then has a major say let's say a veg uh, you know a, a groceries delivery company if they then get all electric vehicles they change yeah. their packaging to fully you know biodegradable materials could they get then get a planet mark or is that is that something that they would be after and that's the, that's the aim of what you're doing is to popularize yep. that idea I think you know part of what this tour is about is helping organisations understand what they can do in and around sustainability and reducing carbon, be it through you know the choice of delivery vehicles, so you could be using electric delivery vehicles instead of petrol or diesel, that immediately uh, cuts out a huge amount of carbon. They might be looking at about the ways they might be looking at how they package their food um, uh, to reduce that packaging to make it better for the end consumer. So we don't have to recycle more, but again, it's about reducing carbon. So, Steve, you, we're going to—I think we're going to try and follow you for some of this. But you're going to drive the bus later on this year from the Eden Project here in Cornwall all the way to Glasgow, which is pretty much the length of our small damp island. So, is there a kind of direct route just from here straight to Glasgow, or are you zigzagging a bit? Oh man, we're zigzagging. <laughs> so um, it's all, all parts of the UK. So um, we're working with central government and local authorities to ensure that we can go from here in Cornwall, you know, sweep around through the southwest, through to London and into Wales, northeast and west, right. and eventually make our way up into Glasgow for COP26 and include Northern Ireland as well, where we're talking to electric and hydrogen bus companies there. Right. So, um, yeah, the tour is going to do a lot of zigzagging. And, you know, for us, that, that zigzag is, is really part of it because we know that across the, every part of the UK, there's all amazing stories to tell about, you know, individuals, communities and companies that are doing great work around zero carbon. And part of the, the, the you know, the tour is to collect those stories together explain what is happening and it's already taking place here with technology or nature-based solutions as we see at Eden um, and gather those stories up tell them along the way and then tell them to all of the leaders who will be at COP26 in November and that's part of the job that we're doing with the Zero Carbon Tour.